What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can, and that's my 1965 Mustang. I'm super stoked because it's been super hot in LA and it's finally starting to cool down. And so I was like, you know what? Let's go take this Mustang out and talk about the new Mustang. If you guys are curious, I am selling merch. This is one of my shirts in my line. So check it out at amfilmfest.com and let's get back to the video. I'm laughing right now because I'm just looking at the camera and it is just shaking, you know? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're in a classic car with a nice little V8. But for those of you who don't know me, this is my 1965 Mustang. It has a mildly built 289 with a four speed attached. You know, it got 380 gears in the back with a posi. So it's a little fun car, nothing too quick, but it is fun around town, you know? It's mostly fun just first to second when you do a little pull, but Besides that, I don't know, it's nothing too crazy. The last couple of years, I haven't really needed another car. This was my first car I got in high school and I daily drove it to campus and such. And then I went off to college, I didn't bring my car. And then the pandemic happened, so I didn't really need daily transportation, but now things are picking up and I'm pretty busy. And so I'm gonna be needing to get a new car. So I just saw the 2024 Mustang got announced and I just wanted to talk about that today. Maybe that's a possible car that I'll be getting. Okay, here's my opinion. I think it looks really good. It looks very aggressive, the front end I really like. It does look a little bit like a Camaro from the side, so. <laughs> but I am really proud of Ford that they went with the V8 and they're still letting you match that with a six speed manual. So I'm really stoked about that. All the manufacturers are jumping straight to electric, but I feel like we still have a while before everything really needs to go electric. I still feel like a lot of manufacturers can push not going full electric for a while. So I'm happy that Ford didn't jump on the bandwagon because like a decade or two, probably a lot of things are gonna be completely electric. So we'll have to deal with it then, but not necessarily now. So let's enjoy our ICE vehicles while we can. The only thing that really bothers me eh, maybe two things. I don't know how I feel about the rear end. It's very angular and like harsh. And I, I don't know, from the pictures, I have mixed feelings. I definitely don't love it, but I feel like it might be one of those things that we see in person, it looks fine. So I'm open-minded. But the other thing that kind of bothers me is how the instrument panel is just one large screen. I don't think that's gonna age very well. Like I know it's popular right now, but I, I just can't imagine that looking good five, 10 years from now. I wish they just stuck with like a cool little instrument panel with like gauges and maybe like digitize it. But besides that, I think it's a great looking car. I also like how <laughs> we hit a bump. Uh, uh, the suspension, this is pretty stiff. What I really am looking forward to and I'm excited that Ford did was they had the e-brakes actually like a drift brake when you activate it. So I think that's really cool of them to do that. It has like the enthusiasts in mind when they were designing the car. So that's really neat. The other thing is, it's probably gonna be super expensive. And then on top of that, it's gonna be marked up like 30 grand. So it's like, do you really wanna spend that much money on a Mustang, it's not like you're buying like, you know, a BMW M2 or something like that that's priced super high up. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. So it's like, I'm going to need a car within like six months to a year. Do I just get, you know, a 2018 and up Mustang? Because you could run E85 with those and you can do a lot of modifications easily with that. Or do I wait for the new Mustang to come out and also have the new thing, what's hot, what will get me attention? not like people in the street attention, but like on YouTube. Basically, in my mind, getting this vehicle is just for YouTube purposes. It's basically a business asset. It's not really just for fun. Like I'll be using it for YouTube and you know collaborating with other people and trying to get younger viewers onto the channel. It's actually really nice getting my car out. It's been so hot that I just, I'm not down to take it out. So my friend and I call this, uh, well not yet, but we call it muscle car weather. You know, when you enter fall and it starts cooling down at night and when you can drive these cars without AC and not get a whole sweaty back. So I'm excited for that, it's, it's always fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious of what you guys think of the new Mustang. I think it's overall pretty good design, but then also it's like, 
do you think they'll fix that rear end in a couple of years from now? Like sometimes like, you know, with the Camaro, they change the rear end, like they change the taillights and stuff and slightly modify it. So do you think like maybe in 2025 or 2026, they'll change the rear end? Cause that would suck if you spent a bunch of money on the new Mustang and then like a year later, they fix the one thing that you have a pet peeve with. But from what I've heard, it sounds good. And the dark horse is also really cool, but who knows, that thing's gonna be so expensive. It would be cool to get one of the new Mach ones. I really like that car. It's always fun thinking about buying new stuff. I'm all over the place. Like I'll just get fixated on one thing for like a week and I'll like, I need it. And then I like, I'll cool off. I won't have the impulse to buy it immediately. So, you know, the good thing with this Mustang is it's coming out, you know, next summer, I have a lot of time to think about it. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to let you guys know that I just came out with some new four speed merch. If you want to support me, I'll link it down below and check it out. And please subscribe for more content.